Hi guys, welcome to day five. Today is March 25th. It is Wednesday, so it's normally Eagles Day, but today it's not. So I hope you are reading like we do a lot of reading on Eagles Day. Um, today we're going to go over everything for day five. So starting with reading, you're going to be starting with this page. It says days five through ten. Um, today you're just reading another informational text. It's called, If You Can't Beat Them, Eat Them. And so you're going to be reading about this fish and some other animals. And then you're going to be answering one through, it's really four questions, kind of five, because part four, or number four is A and B. You're just answering these multiple choice questions. So just this front side. The back is for tomorrow. So that is it for reading for today. You're just reading this article and answering these questions. Please make sure you're going back to the text to find your answers. For writing today, we are on our last day of this TDA. This is when you're doing your final draft. So you are taking your original draft that you color coded and you made a lot of work and some changes on, and now you're producing a final draft. Um, some of you have been typing yours and sharing them with me, and that is totally fine. You can do that. If you don't want to do that, that's also fine. But if you want to share it with me, remember my email is mklee at lexington1.net, but you guys know that when you type it in, um, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i give feedback to you if you do share it with me electronically, but if you're not going to do that, that's fine. I'll just get it when we get back to school. Um, so if you do want to type your final draft, that's fine. If you want to write it, that's also cool. So your final draft today, you need to be looking at this rubric. This is the SC Ready rubric that we've talked about, and so our goal is for everybody to get a four. That is the best score you can get. You need to be going through this like a checklist. So you need to go down each of these bullets and think, did I do this? Did I do a good job? Did I do it completely? And if you didn't, then that's the time to change it when you're writing your final draft. So you need to go through each of the bullets. It goes through things like grammar mistakes, um, explaining main ideas and key details, using transitional words, using describing words and vocabulary from the text, so using things that the text included. Um, make sure that you are using your own ideas, so like when you're explaining why it matters or why it's important, um, and make sure you answer all parts of the prompt. The second bullet is really about the structure of your essay. It says, it has a powerful introduction, it develops a body and a conclusion, all similar ideas are grouped together. So that's just kind of how you lay out your paper. Remember, we indent at each paragraph. That way I know, oh, this is the introduction, now they're moving into their body. When you use transition words, that's also super helpful for your reader to know. So that's it for day five for writing. You're just producing your final draft. Now for math, this is your last day working on these sheets. So at this point, you should be really close to finishing them. Remember, this one's back in front, and this one just has two. The top of this one, these are optional. Anything online is optional because we don't have our Chromebooks at home. And make sure you're using these notes if you need them. There are some great examples in here for you. And finally, today in social studies, yesterday you read that ReadWorks article and you answered those questions. Today's similar, but this isn't a ReadWorks. Um, it's a news ELA, and so it's called the Great Depression as a Global Event. So we think about the Great Depression, or we've learned about it, as just happening in America, but it was actually impacting other countries too, Germany being one of them. Because we remember we learned in World War I that Germany was in a lot of trouble. And so remember they had to pay a lot of money back, and so they started to become really poor, um, kind of like we were at, during the Great Depression. So we're going to learn about other countries too in this article. It is technically three pages, so it's front and back and a little bit of this one. When you flip it over, this time there's just four questions for you and they're all multiple choice. This is going to be really important for you to go back to the text to find your answers. If you would like, you can review the questions first so then you know what to look for when you're reading. So it's really going to talk about different sections, um, true statements, it's going to talk about the images that you see in here, and it's going to ask you about um, how Germany tried to stop the Great Depression. So make sure you are reading this fully. Um, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. I enjoyed checking in with a lot of you yesterday. Um, thank you for emailing me back or having your parents email me back. I just want to know how you guys are doing, and if you need anything from me, please let me know. But I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.